Welcome lads, today we're back for another review. Today we are looking at Alexander Meyer, the tall German. He's got 67 pace, 89 shooting, 82 passing, 78 dribbling and 81 physical. He's got medium attacking work rate and high defensive work rate. He's got two star weak foot, three star skill moves. But the biggest stat honestly is the fact that he is six foot five. When it comes to heading, he gets his head on pretty much everything. I don't normally cross. I hardly ever cross. I don't really think it works too well. But with this guy, it works. He scored so many headers for me. Or hit the bar. Or the goalie made some amazing saves. He can shoot pretty decently as well with his feet. But when it comes to heading, he's just so good. He's just kind of a different kind of player. He's not a player you'd expect to see out there because he is slow. And he moves like a tank. He does not move agilely. It's just almost pathetic. But he's got a bit of pace on him. He isn't the slowest player out there with that 67 pace. His dribbling is atrocious. And I must say, his passing was a lot better than I expected. But given that it's 82 passing, it's kind of what you'd expect in a way. So he can definitely get you an assist. You just need pacey players to drill balls into the box and you will score goals with this guy. But let's go check out his in-game stats. Looking at his skill stats, he's got pretty good ball control at 84. Had a crazy good curve at 91, so taking a free kick with him wouldn't be too bad. He does have 76 free kick accuracy though, which isn't awful. 89 finishing, 83 heading accuracy, which, okay, maybe that's the thing. He didn't score every header with me, but being at six foot five, he's going to get every header. That's how amazing when it comes to crossing with this guy. 81 long passing, 86 long shots, 84 short passing, and 92 shot power. His passing is really on point, and it's so useful with the speedy wingers to drill a ball out wide and then for him to get into the box and head it in. Now, looking at his physical stats, he's got 59 acceleration but 72 sprint speed. Now, I always prefer a better acceleration than sprint speed. So he was slow and his agility is low. He is like a tank out there, which I said earlier. He's just, he ain't going to be moving through defenses. He's got really good strength, which helps out. Definitely if you come up against a slower defender or around the same kind of pace as him, you can definitely push him away. He's got great attacking positioning and he really was. Every time I wanted him in the box to head it in or get his head on it, he was there. Such a great player in that aspect. Everything else about him, pretty good shooting. He is slow though. You've got to accept that this guy is slow. And if you can accept that, he is a fun player to use. But now, let's go check out his highlights. As you can see here, he gets through and he heads it in. And it's a pretty standard header, nothing special about it. But I'm not talking about those kind of headers. I'm talking about the header that's going to come on any second now that he hits the post. Which is just a joke. And as you can see here, he gets through. And then, you know, he doesn't get the best of shots away. But probably should have scored that, honestly. If you're going to really be critical. And boom, comes inside. Two advanced body feints. Left foot is not good. You know, that time it was. And I still can't score headers. I was having this moment where headers just weren't going in. But then they start going in. And then they won't miss. And he gets a penalty here. Really kind of shocking. Little ball rolls. Ball rolls are your best friend when you use a player like this. Because they work with anyone. He can score a penalty. But who can't score a penalty? You put it there. The goalie is not going to save it. I don't care who you are. And he scores a great header there. Just back post. No problem whatsoever. Now I'm going to talk about the pros of this guy. Heading is stature. You've got to head the ball all the time with this guy. His dribbling is awful. Those are on the con side. He is a strong player. And he is a great passer of the ball. Considering how big he is. And you know, you don't necessarily think of a great passer as a striker. Not really the biggest stat though. He is slow. So you can't overlook that. He is a slow lumbering player. But when it comes to headers, this was in the 90th minute in a final that I headed that one in. Just absolute mental scenes. And then he gets in here and he's just, look at the strength. Now, when you come up against a defender that may be not the quickest, like uh, that was against PK, he is going to dominate because he will outstrength them for days. It's the faster defenders you've got to watch out for that he will just destroy. He won't get, he'll just get mugged off basically because he doesn't have the pace. But anything else, I mean, he was scoring goals for fun at one point. I mean, look at that. What a hit. So powerful. The goalie just not going to save it. He does score me a lot of goals, and he will score you a lot of goals. But I honestly would not suggest getting this card. I don't think he's that good. Honestly, for 25k, depending on what kind of budget you have, he's a lot of fun. And honestly, the best thing about playing with this card was how you kind of played in a completely different way with the crosses. 
kind of threw your opponent off in a way. Like, that was one cool thing about using this card. But apart from that, he's not good. He's slow. He's lumbering. Just not really a great ultimate team player. But that's the end of this video. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, follow me on Twitter, at FIFA Wisdom. Make sure you subscribe so you catch all my videos. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.